What's going on guys? Uh, I have another Mr. Tasty food review uh, number two. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it off Next story on this place. Um, it was founded in 1983, I think in San Diego, and they offer what I like to call fresh mex kind of food. Um, it's a bit like um, Chipotle, kind of like that, but the emphasis is uh, on fish tacos, so that's what I have to review today. It comes in this little carrying case, I got mine to go. And let's pop it open and I'll let you know what I think. So it comes in this little uh, to-go box. That's what it looks like. Camera's kind of weird, but. And the initial impression here is that um, there's a good, they give you good sized tacos. I, of course, I got the meal. It ended up being right around eight bucks. So, in terms of what you get based on what you pay, I say it's about average. Uh, they give you a bunch of chips here. Go ahead, give you um, your own little bean and cheese uh, cup. And of course, I got some extras when they're when you're in there. If you want to load up on, got a salsa bar, which is kind of convenient. So I'm going to just go ahead and take a bite here and get into it. Good size, good size fish. I forgot what kind of fish they use. I think it's Alaskan cod or my ahi ahi, mahi mahi. I like to put a little bit of, uh, oh, it comes with lime. They put lime in the container for you so you don't have to get, I just got extra. I want to put some lime here. Can't get it. Taco. Lime on the taco. I'm gonna get this everywhere. Here we go. Mr. Tasty food review: Fish tacos, Rubio's Fresh Mexican Grill, Coastal Grill. Okay. Very very easy to eat. Normally, when you get like a heavy fish taco. It's kind of really crunchy, and the uh, the fish in it it's kind of hard to eat because it's very very deep battered kind of fish. This is like a very um, the fish comes apart pretty easily. The corn tortilla that it comes with is um, very soft, really good flavor, and I like a lot of places that use a lot of accent flavors to flavor the fish. It's not just a battered fish. So I got this little, um, comes with, I think a, like a tartar sauce, like a mayonnaise chipotle tartar sauce. Um, the lime juice, of course, accents it very well. And um, let's see if I can open this up for you guys. You can see that. Can't focus. But it comes, it's good size too. It's about uh, average size for a taco, like a chicken taco, a beef taco, fish taco that you get somewhere else. It's, it's roughly the same size. Take another bite here. I'm getting a napkin, kind of messy. So, if you like your fish taco, kind of a um, little bit on the wet side, this is the place for you. Rubio's Coastal Grill, good place. Also, I think it's a franchise, so they pop up all over the place, mostly California. The convenient factor uh, built into my rating analysis is pretty high, simply because they're located all over the place. You know, regardless of what city you live in, you would um, not be that far from it. In terms of taste, give it about a uh, give it a B plus, right around there, because I had some good fish tacos, but. If you want to eat it by itself, just as is, it's a B plus. Um, I like to doctor mine up with some salsa and some lime juice. I think that's how you're supposed to eat it. And um, if you do it that way, it boosts up to like the A minus. It's a really good food, really, really good food. Um, it doesn't sit that heavy in your stomach. Um, the fish itself, very uh, lightly battered. 
not heavy on the oil. I know a lot of fish places, fish taco places, they, they deep fry it and you get a lot of that film in your mouth. Not here. It's very clean, very easy to eat. So it is pretty tasty. Yeah. Once again, we get that chipotle mayonnaise kind of sauce in here. And I like about this place because they don't skip, they don't skip on it. They give you a lot of, a lot of fish for the size of the actual tortilla. That was a chip. So, you know, some places they give you a tortilla and then the fish is like half the size of a tortilla and you get kind of ripped off. So Rubio's Coastal Grill, check them out. Hopefully I'll be back either tomorrow or the next day. I'll give you guys another review and let you know what I think. But before I go, let's go down the list of uh, how I grade. So convenient factor, is it gonna be like an A or an A plus simply because it is a chain? I mean, um, a franchise, so they're all over the place. If you're in California, they're easy to find. Um, price, I would say it's about an average, about a B, uh, C to B. You go to other places, the right around, right around, I wanna say three to four bucks per taco. But I got the meal for like 10 bucks, so it's kind of hard to say, you know, how much per taco there was. Um, I'm guessing right around three bucks. So for what you get and the price, right around C plus, B minus. Um, quality. Um, I don't think I have an issue with quality. I mean, I was in there waiting for my food uh, for about 10 minutes, and I was, I think, the third person there. So, which makes me think that um, it's made to order. Now, you know, just have it in a microwave, and press a button, and you know, heat up your food. Very clean. Very, very clean flavors here. Not overly complicated unless you want to overly complicate things, which is what I do. I like to just salsa, lime juice. It's really good. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So price is good. Quality, really good. Convenience, really high. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. This is good. Kind of messy. But that's my fault. <laughs>